Hi guys, welcome back. Today we're going to read a book called See to Start by Melissa Stewart. It is a book about science and I'm just going to give you a little excerpt so it doesn't take too long and you guys can read it on your own if you're interested. A Seed is the Start by Melissa Stewart. Words to know. Please take a moment to get to know these words. Understanding what they mean will help you as you read the book. Berry, a small, round, brightly colored fruit. It usually has many tiny seeds. Burr, a rough, prickly covering that surrounds some seeds or fruits. Fruit, the part of a plant that holds the seed. Nut, a fruit with a hard shell. Most nuts have just one seed. Seed, the part of a plant that can grow into a new plant. It forms inside a fruit. Seed pod, a fruit that holds many seeds. When it is ripe, it splits open and releases the seeds inside. A seed is the start of a new plant life. Bury it in soil and watch it grow, grow, grow. What happens when you plant a corn seed? First, the seed coat splits open. Then a root pushes down into the soil. It soaks up water and minerals. Next, a shoot pokes up out of the soil. The shoot stretches towards the sun. The corn plant's first leaves spread open. They collect sunlight so the plant can make food and keep on growing. Plants grow best when they have their own space. That's why seeds have many ways of traveling to new places. When a seed sprouts under its parent plant, it may have trouble growing. The young plant may not get enough sunlight to make food. When many seeds sprout close together, young plants struggle to survive. Some may not get the waters and minerals they need. Seeds fly. Dozens of seeds form inside a milkweed seed pod. When the seeds are full grown, the pod bursts open. Then the wind whisks the seeds away. How do milkweed seeds fly through the air? Each seed has dozens of light, silky hairs. The wind lifts the hairs up, up, up. It carries the seed through the sky. Each dandelion seed grows inside a hard brown nut. The nut's long stem is attached to a clump of silky hairs. The wind can blow a dandelion seed up to 500 miles away. Seed spin and glide. When this red maple fruit is ripe, its stem will break. The fruit will spin and spin, like the blades on a helicopter. It may travel the length of two American football fields. After the fruit lands, its tough coat slowly breaks down. Then its two seeds can grow into new trees. Look at these aging climbing gourds. These fruits are the size of basketballs. They grow on vines in the rainforest of Southeast Asia. When a gourd cracks open, hundreds of seeds take flight. They glide through the trees. After a seed lands, its wings slowly rot away. Then a new vine sprouts. Seeds tumble and spill. As a Russian thistle's fruits grow, the plant dries out. Its leaves turn brown, then its stem breaks away from the roots. When the wind blows, the plant rolls across the land. People call it a tumbleweed. A tumbling tumbleweed scatters its 250,000 seeds far and wide. While a poppy blooms, a small round fruit forms inside the flower. After the red petals fall away, the fruit grows larger, then it dries out. When the stem sways in the wind, seeds fill out of the holes at the top of the dried poppy fruit. If they land in dark, damp soil, they will grow into new plants. Seed Splash Marsh marigolds grow near ponds and streams, swamps and marshes. After they bloom, seed pods form. When the seeds are ready, the pods split open. During summer storms, raindrops strike the seeds and knock them into the water. Splash! The seeds float to new places. Living stones grow into dry, sandy deserts. It's easy to mistake them for rocks until their flowers bloom. When the seed pods are ripe, they wait for rain. When it finally falls, raindrops splash the seed pods. Pop! The seed pods burst open. Water surges over the seeds and washes them away. 
Seeds float. Have you seen yellow irises growing in gardens? A lot of people love these flowers, but irises grow naturally in wet places, like this lake in British Columbia, Canada. After an iris flower withers away, a seed pod forms. When it is ripe, it breaks open. The seeds drop into the water and float away. Cottonwood trees grow near rivers and lakes. Their tiny fluff-covered seeds land on the water and travel to new places. Imagine a snowstorm of seeds. That's what it looks like when hundreds of cottonwood fruits split open at the same time. Seeds drift. The red hamburger bean vine grows in the rainforests of Central and South America. When the seed pods are ripe, they split open. Two one-inch seeds fall out. How did the red hamburger bean vine get its name? From the look of its seeds. When rain falls, the seeds are washed into streams and rivers. They're swept into the ocean and can drift for thousands of miles. People plant coconut palms in all kinds of places, but they grow naturally on warm, sandy beaches. Each coconut fruit has one seed inside. When the fruit is ripe, it falls. Down, down, down. It might land in the ocean, or it might hit the ground and then roll into the sea. Air pockets inside a coconut fruit help it stay afloat. It can drift on the currents for days or weeks or months. The seed inside the coconut fruit shown here started to sprout during its journey. Seeds pop. Look at these lovely little flowers. You'd never guess how a Himalayan balsam sends its seeds into the world. When a breeze blows or an animal passes by, pop! The seeds burst out in every direction. They may blast up to 15 feet away. A sandbox tree fruit looks like a small pumpkin, but when the fruit is ripe, it explodes into thin pieces. Bang! The sound rings out through the rainforest. Each piece contains a large, flat seed. It blasts through the air at speeds of 150 miles an hour. The seeds may travel the length of seven school buses parked end to end. Seeds hop and creep. Wild oat plants often pop up in wheat fields. Why do their seeds have a long bent tail? So they can move away from their parent plant. See how part of the seed's tail is twisted? As it winds and unwinds, pressure builds up along the straight tip. Finally, the tip springs forward and the seed jumps. Over time, it hop, hop, hops across the ground. Look at the lovely blue cornflowers. As their petals dry out, fruits form inside the flower. Then the fruits fall to the ground. Each fruit has a seed at one end. There's a tuft of stiff bristles at the other end. When the air is dry, the bristles shrink. On humid days, the bristles swell. Thanks to these tiny movements, the seed slowly creeps across the ground. Seeds hook and cling. See how the bulging green fruit below this burdock's pink flower? It is surrounded by a spiky covering called a burr. After the flower fades, the fruit dries out and the burr turns brown. A burdock's burr has lots of tiny hooks. When an animal passes by, the hooks get caught in its fur. Then the animals carry the fruit to a new place. When the fruit falls to the ground, it splits open. Then seeds fall onto the ground. Queen Anne's lace grows in fields and along roads. As its fruit ripens, they curl up to form a ball. Each fruit has two seeds on the inside. It has dozens of sticky spines on the outside. When an animal passes by, the fruits cling to its coat. The animal may carry these seeds for miles. Seeds ride inside. This bird, called a field fair, can't resist eating a tasty rowan berry. As it flies from place to place, the seeds ride inside its body, until the bird poops. Then the seed lands in a new spot. Because berries are small, a deer doesn't have to chew them. This means the seeds stay safe as they pass through the animal's body. A few days later, the deer poops out the seeds so far away from the parent plant. In warm parts of the world, many bats eat fruit. Their bodies break down the soft, sweet pulp, 
but not the hard, tough seeds. Each time the bats poop, they spread the seeds to new places. Make sure you guys finish reading this book so you can see the other ways a seed travels too, and what happens to the seed at the end of its life cycle. Make sure to comment below with any other stories you would like me to read, any genres or book titles, or your favorite subject works too. Like and subscribe, and I'll see you guys soon.